a lone woman, a samurai on her quest to find the perfect husband, not just an average ordinary husband, but the perfect husband in all of Japan. That's what you're going to get when reading this manga. Genjo Desperado. Yahoo, 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 yahoo. What is up, everybody? I'm Mr. Super Genki. It's Thursday, which means it's time for our manga review. And boy, oh boy, do I have a good manga to review today. It's called Renjo Desperado. And yo, real talk, I'm so excited to talk about this manga. Not binge worthy, but some manga are better read not in binge. Let's read the description now that I got y'all here. Her name is Monoko. A solitary crow, a wandering soul, a magnificent traveler who roams the roads that are inhabited by bloodthirsty bandits and attractive young outlanders. Ooh, attractive young outlanders. Some of whom are one and the same. At the heart of the wild hinterland where dangerous creatures arise, Monaco follows the path she has taken. Despite her devotion to the way of the sword, it is not the warrior's path she chooses to pursue. In spite of her intelligence, she does not seek wisdom either. Indeed, the quest she pursues is to find the perfect husband. Her path is the way of love. And oh, it's just, it's so good. It's so good. The way that this manga explores the path between modern and traditional Japan and also the elements of love throughout the story are really just, they're cute. And when you read a manga, you want to be left with a cute feeling. I mean, there are serious manga out there, but real talk, we all about being kawaii on this channel. Say it with me, kawaii, yo. That's what we're about on this channel. And I just think that in order to really get the most out of the things we do, in order to get the most out of the information we intake, we have to tap into our feelings. Because remember, feelings are in the present moment. Moods are of the past moments but feelings are of the present moments and you want to be able to remember how you felt in the past without having it have to taint your present moment. You know what I mean? If you're feeling sad right now, you're going to have felt sad tomorrow and you'll be like, Oh, I felt sad tomorrow. And then you're going to remember that feeling and you're going to feel sad again today. That's why we read good manga. That's why I'm all about sharing with you these gems in the rocks, these awesome manga that are, scattered in the daily upload pages of all manga websites. Renjo Desperado, I didn't binge read it. Again, I said this manga is not for binge reading. I mean, you can, and definitely throughout the first couple of chapters, it's really cute and the story pulls you in, but it'll get to a point, I think by like chapter 10, where you'll be like, okay, I'm gonna take a break from this. It's not like the last one I talked about. It's not like um, Ichigumi Ano Monsta. It's not like that one. It's more of like a slower read. But I think this is important to have. There are some things that you binge, some things you slower read. It's all about information intake, developing your mindset of cuteness. Because as students of the cute way of life, we cannot just act cute. We have to learn how to be cute. We have to dress cutely. We have to be like this main character. Anyway, everyone, that's my manga recommendation for this week. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you check out Renjo. Desperado. Shout out. Read the original copy. It is such a good manga. I'll see you all next week for the next manga update. Get Genki!